Can I share with you something from the New York Times back on uh, January? What was this? Put on the reading list. January 28th. This is March the 22th. So we're almost two months. The headline is Donald Trump finds new city to insult. Dateline London. He incensed Paris and London by saying that some of their neighborhoods were so overrun with radicals that the police were too scared to enter. He raised Scottish tempers by threatening to pull the plug on his investments there, including his luxury golf courses, if British politicians barred him from entering Britain. And now, Donald J. Trump has upset the already beleaguered people of Belgium, calling its capital, Brussels, a hellhole. Asked by Fox Business Network anchor Maria Barcharomo about the feasibility of his proposal to bar foreign Muslims from entering the U.S., Mr. Trump argued that Belgium and France had been blighted by the failure of Muslims in these countries to integrate and to assimilate. Trump said to Maria Barcharomo, I know it's Bartiromo, but if you listen to the way, it's Barcharomo. Anyway, I'm just pronouncing the way I hear it, folks. Anyway, he said to Maria Barcharomo, there's something going on, Maria. Go to Brussels, go to Paris, go to different places. There's something going on and it's not good. Where they want Sharia law, where they want this, where they want things that it just isn't good. And less than two months later, Belgium blows up. Brussels blows up. New York Times, Donald Trump finds new city to insult Brussels. Story today from BuzzFeed, Belgian authorities overwhelmed by terror investigations. Within minutes of a bomb blast at Brussels' main airport, mobile phone and internet networks crashed. After a second attack struck a metro station in Meidelbeek, which feeds the main European Union complex. And that's, I, again, from my first hour, that's, you see, to understand this, you, and please, you, look, you might think this is a little over the top. It isn't, folks. It isn't to leftists and to quasi-leftists, to anybody who's not a conservative. Let's just put it that way. Europe, that's the site. Europe is the site of utopia. Denmark, Brussels, Sweden, it's all there. That's that's where the grand experiment's already begun. That's where it's going to eventually flower. That's where utopia is, Europe. And these clowns have come along and they blew it up. My God, do they not know if we can all live together there? We can live in harmony. We can live in peace. We can live without conflict. Don't they know why they they are taking this personally? Blowing, uh, I guarantee you, blowing up Mailbeak, which feeds the main European Union complex. That's like, that's, that'd be like blowing up the underground railroad, subway system, whatever, to the U.S. Capitol. You, oh God, you know, hit anything but that. Oh, my God, this is a direct hit on our utopian site. Remember, in utopia, utopia is where all conflict subsides. Utopia is where all conflict goes away. Utopia is where everybody realizes peace, unity, oneness, sameness, equality. Justice, you know, all these things. And these clowns hit it. These terrorists, they just targeted it. It's dispiriting. Because the very existence of this place is supposed to send out like cosmic waves. That this is the place where we are all finally going to come together as one. And they went out and hit it. It's double depressing to them for that reason. Belgian counterterrorism officials have been on high alert for years as hundreds of citizens and residents have departed for the battlefields of Syria and Iraq. One Belgian official said that besides the names of hundreds of fighters believed to be abroad, the security services have more than 200 open files related to threats at home and in Europe. 
virtually every, listen to this, virtually every police detective and military intelligence officer in Belgium is focused on international jihad investigation. There isn't any time for murder, robbery, any of the other everyday crimes that everybody is focused on jihad. And even with that, the jihadists succeeded. The official from the intelligence agency said, look, we, we just don't have the people to watch anything else. And frankly, we don't have the infrastructure to properly investigate or monitor hundreds of individuals suspected of terror links, as well as pursue the hundreds of open files. This is utopia. This is what everybody aspires to. And they are not equipped to deal with the harsh realities of the world, including that there are bad guys who want to kill us simply because we're alive. They don't want to kill us because they don't like our values. It's, that's another Hillary and Obama. We must maintain our values. That's, that's just not a value question for them. It's a religious question. We're infidels. It's no more complicated than that. Plus, we are at war with them, or we're going through the motions of it anyway. But back to Trump. So back in January 28th, the New York Times gets all over him for insulting Brussels and telling everybody that, look, it's going to happen there. They're not prepared for it. You know, all, these, all this massive immigration in, in Belgium and other European nations, and there's no assimilation. They're living together amongst each other. They're not becoming citizens of these countries, and they are not learning the specific ways of life in these countries. So the Times insults Trump and rigs on Trump, and now... We have a story of the Politico, Trump on Brussels attacks, I told you so. Donald Trump said today he's been warning about the importance of border security for some time, a comment that comes in response to the explosions in Brussels. He says, I've been talking about this for a long time. Look at Brussels, he said in a phone interview. This on Fox and Friends today. Uh, not on the Fox Business Network like he did originally with the Maria Barcher Roma.